All right, we're back on the Defender. You probably noticed in the last video, <laughs> the back end is just hanging, like inside the back of the truck. It was originally a quarry vehicle, I think. So there's just loads of like rock dust and stuff inside. This is the commercial 110. So no windows, no rear doors. It was just basically like a van in the back. It's kind of good because it gives me a blank slate, but it was rough. So I've done something about it. Look at this. We have no more holes and we have sound deadening, which is a game changer. I didn't film it properly. I just kind of wanted to like bash it out, but I did get a few clips and I'll walk you through it. So there were basically like loads of these holes everywhere. There's loads of like little corrosion holes or some big ones in this case. And then there was loads of like drilled holes. The bigger ones, what I had to do, I had to get this like aluminum mesh, made like a template out of it and then use that to like plug the holes. And then that way I could put filler, chemical metal, whatever over it. And then I use this stuff, which is chemical metal, basically like filler, like body filler. You just mix a hardener and then mix it all in and it becomes rock solid after 20 minutes. Filled all the holes with that and it sat kind of nice on that aluminum mesh. Then I sanded them all down smooth. Some of them had a few little pinholes in them. So I just went over them again, filled all the holes, took ages, cleaned it all out. And then I thought I should probably do some silicon, like some sealant around the edges. So we put some silicon down there, smoothed it all out. It looks kind of rough, but It'll do the job. So we cleaned it all up and then me and my girlfriend Ali, we just spent all night painting. So this stuff, I basically just used Hammerite direct to rust and it kind of went down a bit glossy. So I wasn't too happy with it. So the next day I sort of like masked everything off and then went over it with just matte black spray. So this is the, the final result after painting it and it actually looks pretty sick. No holes, completely painted. It's all gonna get covered anyway, but I kind of just wanted to know that the base was all good. The next step was to do the sound deadening. So in the back there is just like, it's all just metal panels and they're massive. So it's really loud. Um, so the road noise is terrible. So I got a bunch of this stuff, which is like silent coat, similar to Dynamat, but yeah, it's like just super strong adhesive on the back. And then just like, I don't know what this is made of, some sort of black magic, but it's, insanely good. So here we're just doing the, the wheel tubs, like all in the back. It just goes down pretty easy. You just gotta cut a few little sheets. So we kind of probably went a bit overboard on that bit, but that is where the wheel arches are. So it gets really loud. And then yeah, the side panels, they're so big. We only need to put like one or two sheets on. We didn't need to cover the whole thing. This panel here, I'm gonna put windows in anyway, and I'm gonna cut it out. So didn't need to do that yet. The only thing left to do was the ceiling. And this was actually pretty easy. Like I thought this was gonna be a massive job, but we actually smashed out the ceiling and the floors in like under two hours. Pretty easy to do. You just get a couple of little rollers and just like squeeze it into the gaps. The material is actually pretty flexible. It's actually made a huge difference. I cannot believe it, but that is the back done sort of. I've got a few little bits left to do. That's not done and we've done that one. So if you listen to this and then this one for the back of here, the difference in driving noise is actually mental. Before there was like so much road noise coming from the back, you could barely even hear each other speak in there. You couldn't hear music or anything. Now we've just got engine noise because the front is the same story, just no sound deadening. That's my progress update so far. This video, we have tons to do. And I'm gonna start with something that's been annoying me for a while is this back door. You might have seen in other videos, but before there was quite a lot of stuff going on here. There was a rear wiper motor, the relay and the wiring to control all that. So I've stripped all that back because I don't have a rear wiper and I don't use it. And then what I was gonna do was make like a panel like a homemade DIY panel for the door. But then I tried it and I was like, these bolts just got in the way, this got in the way for central locking. And then I was like, do you know what? I'm just gonna order the proper door panel. So here I have a rear door card. So we're gonna do some sound deadening um, and then we'll get the door card fitted up. All right, so that hole there is what's left from the uh, wiper mower. So I'm just gonna get a grommet. Nice. So with the kit, we got this, which is like a mesh pocket, which goes at the bottom. That's really handy because I was out of storage. And then we got some factory clips and some screws. Also dug this out of my box of spare parts that came with the Defender when I bought it. And I found the door pull. So the net is on and it even comes with these little caps. Pretty fancy. 
Nice little touch. These holes are not factory. These square ones are actually where the door handle goes into. So I think there must have been like clips there before, but I can't put anything in there, so I'm gonna do a riv nut. Nice. Now we can just put an M6 bolt in there. So that fixes that problem. I might just quickly run some insulation on here just because when I put this panel on, I don't want to take it off. So let's do it right. Well, it's not pretty, but it's insulated and sound deadened. Listen to that. Final bit. I'm stoked with that. Solid door panel, just tidies up the rear a bit. I've run out of black spray paint, but when I get some, we'll spray that, make it look nice. For now, it works. And I've got a little net down there for storage. I'm happy with that, works way better. Just quick, I wanna show you these, because I'm very excited. Um, I've been teasing these on Instagram for ages and they finally arrived. So we have our new hats and hoodies, which I'll show you in a sec. Grim Reaper with a sunflower. Makes no sense, but it doesn't have to because it looks cool. And then on the back, just a little extra detail. And then on the inside, we have our, our standard tags. Nice, simple hat. Along with the hats, we also have hoodies. We have the black Grim Reaper hoodies. Nice embroidered logo. And on these, I decided to just leave them blank on the back. So there's nothing on the back. I just kind of wanted to go for like the simple look. They're also embroidered on our Lux hoodies. So the inside is just super soft. If you want to get one, there is a website down there, bock123.com. We do the black. We also do, we do them in gray. So this is like a heather gray. And I think the logo works very well on this color. And then my favorite one, we've done very limited numbers of this, but we have white. I mean, I can't really get away with wearing it because the warehouse is super dirty. That will definitely ruin it. White just looks very good. I've only just taken this out of the packet, so it's pretty creased. But yeah, we've done like a really small number on these, on the white ones. So if you want to get one, they're quite limited. If you wanted to grab a hoodie or a hat, then I will chuck you in a free air freshener. So we've got white and we've got black. Three new hoodies, two new hats, free air fresheners. Website's down there or I'll put it up there. And that is my plug over. This next job is a big job. I actually completely forgot about this until someone commented. Um, I don't know if you remember, it was like, I think it was like episode three of this build when we painted the whole thing black. I did like a Photoshop mock-up of windows and I ordered them then. So when was that? That was like October. I completely forgot. The windows went on back order and then they arrived like a week ago. So we now have windows. which I'm actually really excited about because number one, the blind spots are terrible because you can't see anything. And number two, it will just brighten up the rear and it'll make the outside look cooler. It'll make it feel more like a, I don't know, more like a camper build. That's our next job today is we've got to put the windows in, which means cutting a big hole out the side of the Defender. Look at that. We've got a tinted, Sliding window. Oh, I'm actually excited. This is gonna look sick. So with the kit, we've got some seals, the bond, my windscreen bond, super strong, hybrid polymer, high tack, fix all. That's all you need. Bunch of rivets. And the thing that I'm very happy about is I got a big template. Template, template template so it means i don't have to guess where i'm cutting this cut this line for cut this line for cut this line for what i'm gonna figure this out and then we'll get back to you got the template on big dog's ear that's it the cutting man <laughs> bought the goods i didn't have any metal blades for my jigsaw which we need all right we're marked out so that is where the window's gonna go we've got the jigsaw with the metal blade in we're just gonna drill some holes 
to make sure we can get in there and then we will cut this. So that is the line we want to cut. But do you know what you don't want to cut? Your nut sack. <laughs> Shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Manscaped are a company who makes grooming tools for your balls and stuff to make them smell nice. What do we have here, Shaggy? Platinum package 4.0. So we've got charger and blade kit in there. We've got some boxes. We've got the Lawmer 4.0, which I'll show you in a sec. And crop preserver, which is a ball deodorant. This is the Lawmer 4.0. And he's just gonna prep himself. Cause I want a haircut. He's gonna try to cut his hair with it. So this is a cordless shaver and it's got this, which is skin safe technology, which basically stops you getting like nicks and cuts when you're doing your balls and that which is very handy because it's actually terrifying. It's even got an LED light and it's also waterproof, which I will test now. How's she working, right? Yeah, it's actually banging to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> I had so much in my nose mouth. They also do another thing, which is really handy, which is this, the weed whacker, which gets up in your nose and your ears. If you want to get anything from manscaped.com, all you got to do is go to manscaped.com and then put in the code BOKKA and you'll get 20% off you get free international shipping and you get two free gifts and you'll be all set. Flying back. Just like you with that fresh trim. Look, your ball sack could look like that. <laughs> Thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Let's cut a hole in the fender. How's that then? A lot of concentrating. <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> Pretty decent hole, actually. Look at that cut. That actually looks mint. That's <sighs> decent cut, isn't it? Doing very well there. That bit of trimming. Oh, okay, if you get, get out. I'd just literally get a file and just file this section here. Just probably file the whole thing anyway. Yeah, I'd just like this section. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're in. Baby girl. Oh my God, that's gonna look sick. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yo! Yeah, I like that. That's, That's a nice tight fit as well. Next step, we got to drill pilot holes for the rivets. We got like 28. Even got some drill lube for, for my uh, fancy drill bits. Legit stuff. You push tight, I'll drill. Mold. Just sand it up. Brake cleaner, clean it up, clean that up, and then we can use our super strong fix all high tack bonding sealant. And we'll run a bead all around that. We've got some bare metal there as well. I know it's alley, so it won't rust, but we're just gonna do some black paint on there. Whew. The old hand cramp, is it? Yeah. Jesus Christ, Shag. That's quite a lot, mind. Yeah, isn't it? Oh, that's right. good. Get riveting, big boy. Imagine that straight through the window. Oh, that'd be lush, wouldn't it? That's deadly, that is. I'm gonna put goggles on. You'll whiz it through the throat. Ah, oh, you can't. How are we looking? We're done. Oh, wow. Finishing touch. We have a little seal that we're gonna pop in. That just sits in that channel there and it hides the rivets. Windows, done. Oh, I'm pretty buzzing with that. Well, one window. Feel good, yeah. Yeah. 
Sick. That is how you put windows in your landing. That's gonna make such a difference for the back as well, like when you're inside. Mm. All right, time to do the next one. Windows done. That was long. Easy, but long. I'll just run like a bead of bond down all the edges just to make sure it doesn't leak. I'm pretty happy with that. Looks very good. And in the back, it's just brined up loads. So that's gonna be way better. So just before I forget, I'm gonna do the giveaway and I'm gonna give away one of these Lux hoodies. Lux Grim Reaper hoodies with all the fluff on the inside. Super warm, sick logo. These are 60 quid, so you can win one for free. All you gotta do is drop a comment down below. This time, ask me a question. Just ask me anything in the comments down below. I'll try my best to answer them, but I'll pick a random comment next video and you'll win this. This is the winner of last week's video as well. All you gotta do if you wanna win a hoodie, comment down below, ask me a question, and you can either have the white, the black, or the gray one. But these are absolutely lush hoodies and one of you is gonna be lucky if you win one. That sounded very salesperson, didn't it? What should do, you should buy one, because they're sick. But yeah, if you wanna win one, drop a comment down below, ask me a question. Can't drive it, or we'll get it out in the rain for like 24 hours. So it's just gonna sit here and let that bond cure. In the meantime, I kind of just started tinkering and forgot that I never actually tidied up all the winch wiring. So it's just a mess down here. And also I have this which is a kill switch for the winch, just so I can like turn it off and on, make sure it's not constantly live. So I'm gonna wire that up as well. All right, so we've got the two positive and negative from the battery, and then I got these two coming off the winch, and they're massive. Cut them, put terminals on, bob them together. We've got two nice terminals on there, so now I'm gonna cut them so they can join them. All right, so what I'm gonna do, two terminal lens. I got two different size cables, so a butt connector wouldn't really work. So I'm just nut and bolting it. And then I've just got some massive heat shrink that I'm gonna put over the top. And give it a blast with a heat gun. And that is the winch wiring done. I can tuck it back there, and that is a lot near. All right, so kill switch there. Winch cable comes out of there into the bottom of the kill switch. Top of the kill switch comes out there to the positive of the battery. Winch. Works. And then hit the kill switch. Then no longer works. Turn it back on. Works. And then you just take the key out, put it in the glove box. And then we have a winch that we can kill. So I'll just leave that off all the time. And then when I need to use the winch, just turn it back on. One last job I want to get done is we need to sound deaden the floor and the rest of those panels and this one up here. Then I know the back is completely done and it'll be quiet. I might insulate it as well, but yeah. I got Ali upstairs and she wants a job. So whilst I tidy up this, I might set her on the sound dead ninjas because she's stoked on it. So let's do that. Here we go. Everything 
a sound end in the back that needs to be. So we just laid down the uh, six mil dodo mat insulation just on the floor, just to see how it went down. I'm gonna crack on with the rest of it now. So we've done all that, done the new rear door card, which looks smart. We've done some winch wiring, put a kill switch in and fitted windows on both sides. So I'm in my like hyper-focused mood where I just, just wanna be constantly on this thing. There's so many things to do as well and all of them are like really fun, so yeah. Hope you're excited we're back on Defender videos. E36 in the background, our um, powder coaters have had like a huge backlog of stuff, so my parts still aren't back, which is why we haven't done anything with that yet. But it's coming soon. Anyway, let's pull this outside. That looks very good. And they're in line perfectly. They're all measured on both sides, all exactly the same. So I'm very happy with that. It just looks so cool. So stoked on this thing. All right, I'm gonna get back in the unit, crack on with the insulation. You don't need to see that because you've seen too many time lapses and this has already been a bit of a long video, so. I'm going to plug away with that. You'll see that in the next video. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. You might win the hoodie. Defender's looking sick. I actually love the windows. And yeah, why am I dragging out an outro? Doesn't need to happen. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Goodbye.